Hey guys, welcome back to another video where today uh, I'm going to show you how to play Forza Horizon 4 on your phone. So as you know, if you want to play Forza Horizon 4 you have to launch it from Windows and there's no way to launch it from Steam nor is there any way to play it on your phone. Um, well, that's what you think. But I, today I'm going to show you how to play it on your uh, phone. I have an Android device. I believe it should work on iOS too. You, um, I'll show you what you need to get this started. Okay, so on your uh, computer, if you have an NVIDIA graphics card, remember, if you have an NVIDIA graphics card, you go to the GeForce Experience app. So you just type in GeForce Experience in the Windows search, and here we are. So, now what you're going to want to do is you want to click up here at Settings, and then click on Shield. And then click on Game Stream. It allows your PC to stream game to Shield devices. So you click, uh, uh, turn this on. And now, what you're gonna want to do is on your uh, smartphone. Okay, so now on your smartphone, which I have the Samsung Galaxy S8, you're going to uh, go to search and you want to type in Moonlight and click on Moonlight Game Streaming. It should be the one at the top. And then just click Install. And then once it's installed, you should see it right here if you're on a Samsung phone. So if you click it, you should see it here. And then once you click it though, you'll see all the games you can play. But you can't see uh, Forza on here. And uh, the only games you can play are games that are added to Steam. So I'm going to show you how to do that right now on my other computer. Uh, so let's go. Okay, so this is what you're going to need. So you want to do, so the first thing you're going to do is they're gonna open up File Explorer, just regular version of File Explorer, and then you're going to paste this, which I put in the description below. You're gonna paste this into File Explorer, into where quick where it says Quick Access. You just paste that, and here we go. So these are all of your apps right here, all of your apps. So now what you're gonna want to do, you're gonna search up Forza. Here it is. Now, um, what I did is I just created a, uh, so if you go to this PC, if you go to local to see, I created a new folder that just says shortcuts here, um, because just to make it easy. So you're going to bring it on your desktop, then you're going to want to bring it into shortcuts. Now, here comes the next part. So if we go back to notepad here, you're going to create a bat so a dot bat uh, so what you're gonna need for that is you're gonna need notepad you're gonna need a notepad open let me just bring this one here I'll make this a little bit bigger so the first thing you're going to want to paste is this uh, C uh, colons uh, backslash shortcuts backslash Forza Horizon 4 dash shortcut dot yeah so you're gonna wanna copy this and if you're wondering how I got this, if you go to CMD, then you take this here, you go to shortcuts, and you drag it into uh, command prompt, it'll show you the location. Uh, copy everything here, even these things right here, what I've selected, copy those, the quotation marks, copy those, uh, copy everything, and then uh, just basically, I'm going to copy it from here because I already have it copied and paste it into your uh, untitled notepad. Now, you're, one, you're going to give it two spaces, then the next step is pause space dash space null, and then you're going to want to, again, two spaces and then paste it here. So just like this, this should be good. So I'm going to go back to my uh, shortcuts, so you'll see it pop in. So basically, it's hard to do this all in one thing, but you're going to click File on Notepad, Save As, and you're going to save it as Forza Horizon 4. But here, here we go. You're going to want to delete .txt and name it .bat. Okay, you stay in with me here, and then just click Save. And there we go. And make sure you're saving it to your shortcuts folder. Which should be in C, your C drive. Now, it should, in theory, if you click it, 
it should launch Forza Horizon 4. Okay? So, we got that. Now, the tricky part now is adding it to Steam. So, you're going to want to launch Steam, and you're going to add game, add a non-Steam game, and now, I'm going to use 7, download 7-zip, you're going to go to, you're going to want to go to Chrome, you want to type in 7-zip, then click 7-zip, then if you have a 32 by if you have 32 bit windows click this download if you have 64 bit click this download uh, once you download it it should appear right here if you're using Chrome just click it and go through the setup process and then it should be downloaded and appear in Steam zip because that's just easy so make sure you have 7 zip installed and then select 7 zip and click add selected programs so once you have 7 zip you want to click properties you right click click properties now you're going to want to name this Forza Horizon 4. Okay. Now, for this, you're going to want to name it C slash shortcuts. Hold on, let me get this selected here. I want to just select this, delete that, and then put shortcuts backslash Forza Horizon 4 dot bat and then put the end quotation and then for start in you're going to want to put shortcuts you, literally that's all you're going to put C colon backslash shortcuts that's all and then add the end quotation and then you should be good to go so you just click close and there you go so you have it perfect but where is your icon you you probably would want an icon wouldn't you all right hold on i'm sorry i made a mistake here you're supposed to put short cuts not shortcuts okay now you can click close and then click play and there you go it'll launch forza for you um but now you have no icon uh you would probably want an icon it'll just make it look so much better so so what you want to do is right click it, click properties, click choose icon. Now I already have an icon, well I did, um, but just basically what you're going to do is you're going to just find a good icon. So I'm just going to type in Forza Horizon 4 Windows icon. And I like this one, so I'm going to save the image, make sure it's a PNG. And save it to your shortcuts folder. Okay, now you want to image files, download that PNG, and close. And then your uh, your image should appear. It's not going to appear right away. I don't know. It, it might appear right away for you, but for some reason for me it doesn't. Um, but there you go. It will now launch Forza for you. But now the, the next part to this is playing it on your phone. So, for playing it on your phone, uh, we're going to go back to it, actually. So, let me launch it here, and I'll show you what you're going to do. Okay, so, now that you're on your phone, you're going to go back to that app that I was showing you about, Moonlight. And now, now click Steam. Okay. Now, if you go back to... Uh, the thing here, hold on, let me adjust, uh, well, OBS is small, but I'll adjust it in the editing software to make it big. So, now, uh, let me make sure this is still recording, actually. Okay. So now, if you go to library, and there you go, Forza Horizon 4, and there's your logo, it's appearing now. So, just click play, and now you'll see it appear on your smartphone. So, I'm just going to actually place this and all of the audio will come out of the um, phone and uh, I'll get another camera so you can see this hold on okay and here we are so as you can see Forza Horizon 4 running on my gaming computer and then we also have it running on the phone and as you can hear the audio is coming out of the smartphone so I'm gonna connect to this uh, Bluetooth uh, 
this Bluetooth controller. So I'm going to turn it on, and then it should automatically connect since I had it connected before. You'll see once it turns. There we go. And as you can see, it's literally just streaming the the um, thing, my screen from my computer over to my phone. Just click A and wait for this to go away. There we go. And then just click continue. And there we go. We are now playing Forza Horizon 4 on a smartphone. <laughs> um, so I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, definitely give it a thumbs up. I hope it wasn't too confusing. I'll try to make it less confusing in the editing process. Um, but yeah, just wait till it loads up and uh, we'll see how it works. Welcome back, Mr. President. Alright, well she still says welcome back, Mr. President, so let me click back. This is really hard to do this with literally one hand. But as you can see, we are controlling the game from the smartphone, which I cannot do right now. Let me just... Okay, anyways, uh, yeah, we are playing it on the smartphone. Okay, I can't do this on the hand, so I'm just going to do this. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. And uh, also consider subscribing if you really enjoyed it. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys all in the next video. Bye!